Well, hello, I've got discount vegetables. Guy, I'm doing the intro. Anyway, hello, everyone. Welcome back <laughs> to Playframe and to Near Replicant. Uh, we're here in the village and we've been given the task of going out and handling some shades uh, that attacked some construction folk. Uh, and it's a little bit more overcast today, which probably means the shades are out and a bit more dangerous. I don't know if anyone's like, I don't know if any character has explicitly said this, but they sort of implied pretty frequently that uh, shades seem to be more prevalent outside of the light, where it's darker, emerging from shadows and such. So, let's go handle it! July 20th. Devil and Popola came to keep me company today. They even sang a song for me. It was really great. I need to practice so I can sing to- Oh, wait, we did this one already. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, I'm so excited to play this. I was intending originally to play Nier and Nier Automata on this channel like a year or two ago. Uh, and I was all ready to get started. I was like... <laughs> I was about to start recording Nier. I was getting ready to set it up. And just then, uh, Square Enix announced that they were doing a remake. <laughs> and so, uh, I checked with the patrons, had them vote, and they said, uh, let's wait. Let's wait for the, uh, whoop, there we go. Let's wait for the remake. And so we have. And now we're here. It's about time. Boy, that dodge move is really satisfying. Deflecting. Press L2 at the right moment to deflect an enemy's attack and throw it off balance. Then immediately swing your weapon to unleash a devastating counterattack. I don't think that was in the original game either. Neat. Okay, let's try this. Ooh. That feels good. So what does this kick move do? Like, it's... I can't really tell what damage it's doing relatively, but does it, like, stagger them or stun them or something? There we go. Let's try this deflection again. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yeah, that feels great. Yep, combat in this feels so much better. It's night and day. Okay. That's all of them. That should take care of the shades for a while. All right. Yep. This bridge sure is out. Guess we're done here. Honestly, I'm kind of glad this overworld is not enormous. Because <laughs> you've got to run back and forth across this thing a lot of times. Also, I'm glad we have a faster sprint now. <laughs> There's a lot I'm glad for. A little sad losing Papa Nier, but again, pretty excited to experience this story with the character at the age he was originally intended to be. It sounded like Yokotaro had to fight pretty hard to continue having this younger Nier, like, to have a version of the game with this younger Nier in it. Like, they were... Like, as I understand it from limited interviews, uh... Square Enix, like, uh, Japan and United States folks were getting together and kind of discussing this and debating heatedly whether or not, like, uh, Nier should be an older or younger character, because they were pretty confident that the older character was going to land better for Western audiences, given the, like, the ages and kinds of protagonists that were coming out in games at the time, uh, around here. And I do like Papa Nier a lot, so maybe they're right, but, uh, it sounded like Yoko Taro had to fight pretty hard to at least be able to go with younger Nier in Japan. And that had to be a lot of extra work. Like, not just voice recording, but also animation and scenes. Anytime characters are in contact with each other, like, I wonder if they had to record just mocap sessions, like two versions of each scene. They might have a lot of the time. Huh. I wonder. Sorry, this is stuff that's interesting to me. I animate for games for a living, so this is the stuff I spend too long thinking about. You're back. I am. Hey, Popola. Did everything go all right? Were you hurt? 
I'm fine. I learned how to deflect. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I felt like I sent you into a really dangerous situation, and if something had... Popola, look at me. I'm fine. I know, it's just... I'm just relieved is all. Oh, here. Those carpenters left some money for you. Wow, thanks. Go buy something nice for Yona, okay? I oh, will. Speaking of Yona, she came by this afternoon. What? She was supposed to stay home. I think it's okay. She just wanted to ask me a question. About what? She was asking about the outside world. You mean outside the village? Exactly. She seemed excited too. Poor thing was talking a mile a minute. She's probably been getting nutty ideas from some book again. Don't worry. I made sure to remind her she isn't allowed beyond the gates. Thanks. But she was worried about you, so you'd better hurry home. Yeah, I will. Thanks again. Yes, let's get back. We've been spending entirely too much time apart from our poor, lonely, sick sister. Boy, I'm glad we can sprint. <laughs> it makes the back and forth runs between library, house, gate, <laughs> library, gate, house a lot faster. Um. Um. Yona? Where'd she go? Maybe she's still at the library. Yeah, maybe we missed her. Didn't see her there. Yona. I don't know if I mentioned it before. The reason I'm doing the roll <laughs> when I, whenever I walk through a door is because uh, doing that forward roll seems to instantly put me in faster sprint mode, so I'll probably be doing that a lot. Gotta go fast. Hmm. hmm. Doesn't look like she's here. I'd better go ask Popola can't get over how enormous and relatively well kept this library is. <laughs> like, this... <sighs> it looks nice enough, and it's been so long, it almost feels like this place has to have been built after the apocalypse, which... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but this seems really nice compared to everything else. <laughs> What's in here? I don't think I've gone in here. I guess it's locked. Never mind. Popola. Hey, Popola? I can't find Yona. Really? You have any idea where she might be? She stopped by earlier today, but that was a while ago. Did she say anything? She just asked if I knew where lunar tears grow. She's so cute. I told her how they used to grow around the Lost Shrine long ago. Why is Yona asking about lunar tears? Why indeed. Huh? Oh, crap. Yep. What's wrong? Yesterday, I told her that story about how lunar tears can make you rich. Oh. Then we got to talking about how we could use the money to buy medicine to make her better. You don't think she... I think that's exactly what she did. I have to go find her. What's the fastest way to the Lost Shrine? Through the Eastern Gate. Got it. Thanks. Well, we have a task. Yona, I have to get to the Eastern Gate. Yep, we better go. And I believe the Eastern Gate is this one. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. What's that? 
Obtained Yona's Ribbon. I can't believe this. She really went to the Lost Shrine. Well, time for some adventure. Fellas, you didn't stop her or anything. Shades don't like sunlight. If you're attacked by shades and find yourself in trouble, run to somewhere bright. Dodging the question. You? You should quit working so hard and come have a drink. First round's on me. You're bad guards. Hey, I can't drink. <laughs> and we're off. Uh. <laughs> All right, then. By the way, some of you may be wondering, people who are more familiar, familiar with Nier, um, hey sheep, those of you who are more familiar with Nier may be wondering, hey, if this is a story mode playthrough and series where we're, like, being sort of completionist in trying to see the stories of these things, why are we not playing Drakengard? Or Drakengard 2 or 3? Because I don't want to. <laughs> and I'm not putting any of us through that. For those of you who want to know, though, I can go ahead and uh, fill you in on the connections between the Drakengard games and Nier. Drakengard was a PS2 game that came out way back in the day, and if Nier was rough around the edges, Drakengard was rough around the everything. It was a sort of sl part Dynasty Warriors, part Panzer Dragoon kind of dragon riding thing with a very dark fantasy. Um, similar tone to Nier in a lot of ways, darker and more violent even. Um, and one of the endings in Drakengard, like the fifth ending, arguably the joke ending, uh, has... That is almost the only connection between the two games. And that's why we're not subjecting ourselves <laughs> to those three video games that don't run very well or play very well in most cases. Uh, I'm just not particularly interested. I don't think you need to play Drakengard to play Nier. It's like saying that you have to watch every Disney animated film in order to play Kingdom Hearts. Like, yes, it's relevant, but not necessary. <laughs> I just have zero interest. But if you have interest, then uh, Drakengard 1 and 2 are on the PS2, and Drakengard 3 is on the PS3. And that one is at least a little bit more tonally and visually uh, like comparable to Nier a little bit. I don't know, they're out there, and they are interesting in their own ways for sure. Like, I'm not meaning to say that they are, like, garbage games that aren't worth anyone's time. They are interesting, but they are very rough around the edges, and I just, I just don't have it in me. <laughs> I'd rather stick to near, I think. But anyway, sorry, I'll stop rambling and actually get moving again. If you want a quick summary, actually, there people have made videos kind of like uh, going over and talking about uh, the Drakengard games. The ones I watched are by a YouTuber... What's his name? Klimps. Uh, Klimps is the YouTuber who has done... Slide. There's no way Yona could have made it past here. Maybe she found some other way in. All right. Um, uh, Klimps has done a lot of, uh, videos about, uh, various, uh, Japanese, uh, RPGs and, uh, action RPGs, and, uh, has made videos for all of the Drakengard games and all the Nier games, I guess not including this one yet. Uh, and uh, I highly recommend them. They're a good time. Those reviews are also, I guess, rated M for mature, <laughs> depending on... Ooh. Anyway, I highly recommend those videos if you want to get an idea of what happens in Dra the Drakengard games without actually playing them. And if Klimps isn't to your taste, then various other people have made uh, similar videos. So there's videos out there. There's ways to learn to get the interesting bits without having to subject yourself to a not very fun to play game. Uh, wow. This set piece though, huh? I love how the place has a big, like, fantasy vibe in its like the layout of the place is this scene does not feel this feels otherworldly but it's built from like rebar and concrete and stuff like a uh, just old human civilization and it's just it's a very cool style 
I like the look of these games. Really excited to play uh, Automata down the road. Because, yeah, I haven't played that one at all yet. Feels like we should do this one first, though, right? Refresh. Gorgeous. December 1st. Today, but right, it's the tree thing. <laughs> Speaking of trees, though. I love how much the soundtrack of Nier uses chorus and voices. It makes this game's soundtrack feel really distinct. Like, no other game sounds quite like Nier games do. And the music's just really beautiful across the board. Haunting in places, and uh, sometimes energetic and fun, but always kind of just somber and a little bit sad which is exactly the right note to hit for this game. Okay, there's nothing around here, and I think... Can I not pick that up? Am I, like, maxed out? I might be maxed out. Haven't had to use one yet. Boy, this is pretty. What's this? Pick it up. A bronze key. All right. We got our first dungeon here. Uh, if that wasn't already clear. And it's a pretty small, straightforward one. Use the bronze key. Um, and here we go. There are shades here too? <laughs> this overhead view. I, I said yesterday about how Nier plays around with camera angles and kind of, never make it out of here. play conventions a lot of a lot of times. This is just a very early taste of that. It's unusual, but it's the sort of like systems whimsy that Nier is all about. It's not always to a purpose, honestly. Sometimes it seems just to be kind of gimmickry for its own sake. But it keeps things interesting. Oop. Gracious. Kicks. I want to do another parry. That was very satisfying. Ah, can't see. Ah. Hit the wrong button. Do it again. There we are. Ha 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 ha! Boy, combat feels so much better, y'all have no idea. And honestly, the combat being better on its own makes such an enormous difference for the experience of this game. Because the combat was arguably the roughest edge the original had. And you have to do a lot of it. Uh, so the combat going from being kind of a chore, a clunky chore, to being fun makes a huge difference. Get out of here! Defense drop? That's new. Ooh, what's this? Oh. 
guess it was just an enemy fading. It wasn't an object or an item to pick up. Get out of here. Maybe this way? I'm already getting a little lost. This is new, yeah? Yeah, I don't remember this. Ooh. Is this another herb? It's all herbs. I haven't had to use one yet. <laughs> ah! Sorry, sometimes I'm just going to shut up and let the music be awesome. <laughs> I imagine you won't mind. Also, boy, uh, this is a huge difference as well. Ladder climbing is way faster now. <laughs> Obtained the one-handed sword Nirvana Dagger. Ooh, press down to change your equipped weapon. Okay. Uh, neat. All right. Uh, weight is moderate, so maybe it'll be a bit slower, but higher attack power. All right, well, let's try. Yeah, a little bit slower. Slightly shorter reach, it feels like, too. Maybe not. Um, so if down on the D-pad is how I change that. Is the other D- Okay, up on the D-pad brings up recovery items. Let's use one. We've got a little health lost there. Okay, ladder climbing is still a little slow. <laughs> That's fine. Get out of here. Boy, this remake is looking good, though. Oh, hello. See, like, there's a lot of fighting. <laughs> There's a lot of fighting in this. And I'm having way more fun now. Because it's actually fun to do. <laughs> but a lot of fighting that's not fun really drags the whole experience down. Hopefully it's still fun to watch. I don't know if it's like... I guess as I get more moves, the spectacle will increase. Ow. Gotta stop hitting L1 to block. It's L2. It's L2. What happens if I block, but I'm not facing the enemy? That's the thing we should test. Alright, still kind of works. Ow. A little too late there. Alright. Let's use another one of these. There we go. Give me herb. Ah. Stop hitting L1. I think it's my... It's gotta be my Dark Souls muscle memory. <laughs> That's got me hitting L1 to block. A thick dictionary? We've got a fictionary, everyone. What does it do? It's not a... Is it a recovery item? No. It, hang on. Uh, items? Does the defense drop? What did I get? Orders? Animal? Call? What? No. Uh. What's the Fictionary for? And where is it? I'll figure out eventually. Let's top off. I appreciate how fast that is, considering I have to go into a menu. It's almost instantaneous. There we go. That's what I was trying- Whoa, nice! That follow-up attack is great. Get out of here, small fry. Oop, a little slow. Ooh, level four. 
What is level increasing? I'm assuming it's our damage, yeah? Because, like... Hmm. So we're level four... Is there, like, a status screen, or...? Hmm. That's how we pull up a map, which we don't have, for this place. Hmm. I'm sure the game will teach us all this as it becomes relevant. Ooh, boxes. There's a door. Looks like you can get outside from here. Let's do it. Well, first, kind of curious about this. Is this anything? What if there's like an item or something? You gotta check. I do. Ooh, it's a lot of boxes. One of these has got to have a good item. I assume. Well, okay. <laughs> sure. Come on. Uh... Where is Big Door? There we go. Big Door! Whoop. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> uh, look at this. This is lovely. Double jump. Uh, after jumping with X, press X again while airborne to perform a second midair jump. It's not a game I would have expected a double jump in. I'll take it, though. Lovely looking. Yeah, the PS4 is treating this game right. PS5 in this case. Um... Hmm. Maybe through here? Ooh, stuff. Not stuff. Uh, nope. That ladder's broken. Hmm. I could probably get up there if I had something to stand on. Movable boxes. Uh, stand next to a movable box, then hold circle and move your character toward or away from the box to push or pull it. Move boxes as needed to create a path forward. Yeah, I assume our double jump won't, uh... Nah. So be it. Here we go. It's very Zelda in here. I'm so excited to experience this again. It has been a while. Come on. Yep. There we go. Uh, ooh, ladder. Whoa, hang on. Oh, you can do, like, jumps up the ladder. That's kind of cool. Um, nope. There we are. And hey, a mailbox. Ah, we're fine for now. Um... Ooh, 
Now we're full up. Let's go in. Get out of here. All he is. I don't have time for this. I have to save Yona. Okay. Out of the way. Shoo. Um. A mysterious force blocks your progress. Oh, well. Give her back. Get out of my way. Give my sister back. Oh boy. <sighs> For the love of all that is holy, would you please stop pounding me? Then move! Yona! By the heavens, I have never been treated in such a manner. I am a being of incalculable importance, and yet you approach me as a common cockroach. Yona, say something! Yona! Yona! This is why I loathe dealing with people. Chatty book. Now see here, I admire your pluck. One young man going it alone against impossible odds. Come on, Yona! But such a plan is incredibly foolish. You stand in the presence of ancient wisdom. I am a text of the darkest, most arcane type, and I could be of great assistance to you. Hmm. A mysterious force blocks your progress. And uh, this is not working. Uh, well... You're a what?! Indeed, I could swat these mindless creatures like mere flies, were I so inclined. <laughs> I am Grimoire Vice. My very name brings kingdoms to their knees. I will grant you one final chance. Bow your head and accept my power, or go it alone and fail. All right. Fine. Ask the mysterious book for assistance. Why, yes. The mysterious book joined you. The main menu, opened by pressing options, has been updated. There. So how do we save Yona? Once I destroy these shades, the magic barrier preventing your passage should simply disappear. Great. Uh, tutorials obtained. You unlock the combos tutorial. This is a weird thing about Nier where... Tutorials are random drops. <laughs> it's a weird game. Yeah. Like, uh, okay, let's, um... Uh, where are the tutorials, though? Where are the tutorials? Where are... Whatever. Oh, maybe in here. Oh, uh, well, we don't have a map for this area. Although, oh, maybe now I can find where that fictionary went. Uh, yeah. A thick book full of big words. Great. <laughs> we have two out of 99 possible. <laughs> oh, we got so much stuff now. Great. There's quests. Uh, there's weapons. Word edit. Okay, and notes. Cool. Our menu is a lot more fully featured now. Word tutorials, one of the things in there. Tutorials, there we go. Okay, uh, combos. <laughs> Tap square repeatedly to perform a combo attack. Glad I got that as a random drop. How would I have figured it out otherwise? 
I'm gonna have to dig through the Can tutorials really on my that? own time later. <laughs> I am Grimoire Vice. My very name brings kingdoms to their knees. Then do it already, Vice! <laughs> you will refer to me by my full and proper name. Book. Just keep coming! You should not have turned your blades on me, foul creatures. With a single word, I, Grimoire Vice, can shatter the very universe itself. Now, prepare to... Prepare to... Uh, uh, oh dear. Oh dear? It seems that the frantic bludgeoning you gave me earlier has caused my memory to escape me. Are you for real? Oh dear. You are not nearly as helpful as you claim to be. <laughs> we have obtained a sealed verse. Dark Blast Magic. This game's also pretty funny a lot of the time. Like, again, it doesn't always succeed at being funny, but it, it sometimes does. Uh, it's... The game bounces between tones pretty successfully, if I remember right. We'll find out together. We got some Dark Blast Magic, though. Uh... R1, fire tiny bursts of magic energy. Oh, yeah! We got that back. Uh, Get booked. Did you just suck the blood out of those things? Bloody sound of sounds of words, and words are power. Okay. Is this my memory? You all right, Vice? Hang in there. It would seem I can regain my powers by defeating these monsters. I'll do it. Is this magic? Magic indeed. This is the true power of Grimoire Vice. Hold on, Yona. I'm coming. Is, is that all of them? <sighs> um. task is going to be more difficult than I first envisioned. Thanks. I really love these knight designs. Look how these foolish creatures charge heedlessly into battle. Still, dealing with both of them at once may prove to be a daunting task. Look out. Talking book and moving statues? Really? This is all too real, lad. Keep your sword high. Yeah. Let's try parrying. All right, a little too early. I'm doing it. Take a swing. Yeah, oh, that feels great. barrier. That sounds bad. Enemies with such barriers are impervious to both weapons and magic. Whoa. Like I said, bad. That said, the enemy cannot move so long as the barrier is in place. Focus your attacks on the other. Give it up. A bunch. Their sword attack is not to be trifled with. Ah, shielded. Now the other one has a barrier. Read their attack patterns. Stay yeah. calm. The man who keeps his head in a fight is the one who emerges victorious. Whew, okay. Let's try another parry. Ah, jeez. Don't know if I can do it to this. Nope. Broke through my shield. Okay. Keep your distance. Let your magic do the work here. Fair enough. Yeah. Dodge. Alright. They changed again? Hmm. Alright, fine. Bad dodge. Fortunately, I got herbs. The creatures must now put it out of its misery. Yes. yes, 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 nope. There we go.
careful there. All right. Obtained a dark burst. Obtained a dark lance magic. Excellent. Uh, L1. Launch a devastating magical spear. Charge to increase the number of spears. Glad to have that back. Switching magic and abilities. Press options to open the menu, then select magic and abilities to set your magic and abilities. Let's ha have a look at that real fast. Magic and abilities. Okay. So I can choose what is in these buttons. If I didn't want to have evade or defend for whatever reason, I could uh, swap in a different option for those, which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, dark Lance over here, Dark Blast over here. Got it. So I guess I could set <laughs> set my uh, defense and evade to L1 and R1 if I wanted to, but no, this is fine. We'll, we'll leave it as is. Uh, all right. Look out. I've got my hands full just dodging. Is this more of your power? Look out. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Ha-ha! <laughs> Get staggered by my good blocks! Ow. <laughs> Whoa! That's new. Whew. Intense, these fellas. Get out of here! Get hit! A bunch! Yes! No! Attack the right one near! Whoa! Got one. They are not but a horde of faceless minions. Swat them aside. Look out. Get hit with projectiles, everyone. The small ones first. Ow. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Look out! Oh, cool, I'm like actually shooting the fireballs out of the air. That's awesome. That's super cool. Run to go. Keep your guard up. Working on it. Yeah! <laughs> Combat is so much better! <laughs> that statue does not look happy. Nope. Anger is but a form of negative energy. Nothing to fear. Ah, boy, parrying feels good. Oop. Burn it down, burn it down, burn it down. Quick, 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 quick. Keep your distance. Time to strike from afar, then. to help I'm the one who's sorry you must have been scared out of your mind are you okay <clears throat> perhaps we'd best depart hmm? the shrine's about to collapse come on Yona let's go
You're faster than I thought. I tried. I really did. But I couldn't find a lunar tear. And I'm so sorry. I, I just wanted to make you rich and get rid of this disease. I'm sorry. Don't worry about... <laughs> Jonah? What's going on? She has the black scrawl. Yeah. When did this happen? The weird coughing started about a month or so ago. The disease curses the afflicted with strange runic symbols that gradually spread over the entire body. And I fear it is fatal. Yeah, I know. Oh, Yona. Come, it's best to let her sleep. Come, it's best to let her sleep. All right, all right, all right, we'll go. Well, she's not doing great, but... We made a book friend, and a sort of familiar looking one, you've probably noticed. Anyway, uh, let's get outside and call it for today. Ooh, new stuff. A strength drop. More money. Not bad. This is so unfair. Yona hasn't done anything. Why do terrible things keep happening to us? I would gladly help the lass had I the means to do so. Terrible things keep happening to you because you're in a near game, my man. <laughs> I have bad news. <laughs> it's not gonna get better. Uh, Y'all, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for some more near replicants. That's the one. She's yeah. She's just a little kid. She doesn't deserve this. Guys. Sorry, I know you're having a moment. I'm just trying to sign off. Take care, everyone, and goodbye!